In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate why it's sometimes better to use two binders instead of one. Two shape binders have some advantage over just using one. Here I'm going to create one object that will have two different holes in it. And into those holes I'm going to fit a peg. Then I'm going to change my mind about which hole the peg goes into. So I'll create a second body, that'll be the peg. And within that body I'm going to place a subbinder. The reason for the subbinder is to give the peg some tolerance. And we can do that because we can create an offset with this subbinder. So let's say at this point we actually wanted a hole in the middle and we wanted the peg to go into it. So we'll create a sketch on the first body and put a circle in the middle and we'll pocket that one out. The problem here is we can't just move the binder to the other to the other hole. There's no way to do it. And as you can see, we can pad the binder and make our peg. Unfortunately, there'll be no way to move that peg. So let's delete the binder and the pad. OK, so starting with the first hole, like we did before, we'll create full-on binder, the blue one. OK, and now from that binder, we'll create a sub-binder. This way we can still add our tolerance for the peg. Now if we look at the shape binder, we have the ability to edit it and move the shape binder to a different object in the first body. However, just as before, there's no ability to, show, to move the sub binder. There are two separate ways to move the shape binder. We can click on it and edit it, or what we can do is we can go into this part of the utility and clear the, the, uh, the attachment and reattach it. So we'll do it this way. So the first thing to do is to add the circle and remove the old one just by pressing delete or Yep. OK, so now we've moved it to the second hole. And now we have a peg with the same tolerance, but the peg's been moved to the new hole, which is what we were trying to achieve originally when we changed our mind about where the peg should go. OK, I hope this was useful. Thank you. Have a nice day.